here's how to install 6mm hardy backer over a timber floor. So the first thing I'm going to do is spread my adhesive ready to, for the boards to go on top. The type of adhesive that you must use is a cement powder based. It doesn't have to be flexible. It's purely there as a leveller, void or gap filler. So we're just going to get plenty on. So I'm just trying to spread the adhesive as evenly as possible, making sure that if there were any voids, I'd be filling them with adhesive. And then all I'm going to do is just notch it out. So once the tile adhesive is down, we're just going to take the board slightly away from the edge of each wall. And all we're going to do is drop it down and then just kick it into place. Whilst you butt joint our boards together, good practice is to make sure that you've got a three mil gap around the edge of the room. When you finish the room, just point it up with a good quality sealant. Six mil hardy backer, we used to recommend a minimum of 40 screws. Now it's only 12. Make sure you've got the right screw. We have 25 mil for floor and 30 mil for wall. You might need to adjust the torque in order to get them to sit flush. So as we're going along, you can see I'm using the indents at the top of the board. There are 39 markings on this board, but now we only need 12. You must make sure that each screw is a minimum of 10 to 15 mil from the edge of the board. Once we've got adhesive under the boards, they're all screwed down. We use an alkaline resistant tape. The reason for the tape is it bonds the boards together rather than having four or five individual boards. Then we just want a slight bit of adhesive over the tape. And this is just gonna help fill the gap and bond it together. What we're looking for is a 150 mil wide feather. 